What is up guys? Long time no see. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I've just been busy AF. Uh, we've been busting it trying to get some of this uh, house done, more of this house. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it right now. Uh, got a lot done over the past few days and uh, just over the course of uh, between last video and this video. So I know it's it's been a while and I apologize for that. Uh, I will try to do better, but uh, no promises. I am really busy, so uh, just bear with me, you know, uh, and I'll get you some content here and there. Um, so, what we've done, we've done a lot. Uh, we've done, I've done the drop room, uh, most of that, I've finished it off, it's ready to be sheetrocked. I've been doing that off and on for a little bit and um, it's coming out really good. I love the way it looks and I'm excited to get it finished off. Uh, I've been trying to coordinate uh, with my dad, uh, him coming up and uh, helping me with some of the plumbing and electrical and uh, finally that got done uh, in the master bathroom. It's all pre-wired, everything's good to go. I'm really excited about that too. I, am, I just moved on today to uh, putting down concrete board in the master bathroom, which is really, really cool. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I remember doing it in the kitchen and it just seems like forever ago kind of that I did that. And um, I'm ready to do it all again, but just in a smaller area. So I'll, I'll welcome the smaller area and uh, that will allow me to pay more attention to like really tiny details and stuff just to get just right and uh, I I'm really looking forward to uh, moving on in the next few days to some tile uh, after I get some sheetrock up on the walls and a uh, concrete board for the shower and um, you know the purple board for uh, outside of the shower and uh, just in the perimeter of the bathroom and the ceiling so Without further ado, uh, let me take you guys into the drop room real quick. Oh wow, look at that. It just started raining. I just got done for the day. That's wild. I had, had no idea that it just started pouring. Perfect timing, wow. Anyways. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, drop room. Looks good. Looks really good. Um, I did all the sheetrock around. Uh, did the header in here, header over here. Uh, this needs to be shaped up. I think most of it is actually going to be covered by trim. Uh, I'm not completely sure that this upper section right here will be covered all the way, but pretty sure um, that it will look just fine. And I gotta put the trim around the door. Just small things, really. Um, I've got to compound, you know, out the rest. Um, just turn my smart light on here. Um, gotta compound out the rest of this stuff, tape it up, compound it. But uh, I put my corner bead and everything on for that to be good to go. Already put the light trim around the light just to make sure that's going to look good. And uh, we'll take it from there and slap some paint on this bad boy. Put some baseboard and shoe molding on it. Uh, finish it out along here and along there. That is pretty much good to go for the baseboard over here already. Um, just because I don't have to sheetrock all the way down the wall. Um, so that's nice, and um, don't worry, I'm gonna fix that uh, crooked CPI siren thing. Um, it's just held in by a nail right now. I just needed to get a longer screw, and I forgot to get those the other day, so um, that's something that just a little small details, you know. Uh, but everything else is good to go, so I love it. Hope you do too. And uh, then, let me take you into what I've been working on today. 
and over the past few days. Don't mind the mess. Quickly realize when you live in a house while you're working on it, it just stays a mess. But you know, I'm fine with it. For now. So yeah, got my concrete board down today. I'm really pleased with it. All of this stuff is new. Every single piece in here. And um, it works too. If I turn that on right now, it'd spray the shit out of me with some water from three different angles. <laughs> I've got a direct overhead shower, a rainfall shower head attachment that I'm doing, which I'm just, like super fucking excited about. I'm really, really looking forward to using this. Um, I got my main valve, diverter valve in. I've got the secondary right there to direct the water flow to any of these fine pieces of equipment. Right over here, this is where gonna, my wand is going to be attached, right here in this space. This is the fixed shower head right there, and then that's going to be my niche, when I'm, which I'm going to tile in, put a little shelf in there. It's going to be nice and clean looking. Uh, I've got a bunch of plumbing that I just did that goes below the house and loops in and uh, ties in with the system underneath us. Uh, this is going to be the shower drain right here, obviously, and um, it's going to be a really big shower, like pretty big. Uh, it's going to stop right around here, and it's going to come out, like, right here. Um, it's going to have a little angle, uh, right kind of like where that pipe is, uh, the hose pipe for the vacuum, and uh, it's just going to go right back in there. So it's going to be at an angle, there's going to be a glass door that you swing open um, and you know this side is going to be glass, that side is going to be glass. In here there's dead space so we figured that we're going to put a cubby for linens in there, you know towels and stuff uh, just to have a place to put them and um, yeah so uh, we did all of our electrical uh, as well in here. We got everything pre-wired, that's for like the vanity lights, you know, when, when we get them in. Um, I got that in, which is going to be a double plug right here, double plug right there. And this is going to be a vanity right here, a double sink vanity. Got the plumbing in for that. I got the drains and everything hooked up, ready to rock. Uh, I got the plumbing for both sinks in as well and capped off obviously so I can run my water while I'm waiting on that process to be underway and finished. Um, I've got, oh yeah, I've got my cabinets in. It's, they're huge. They're heavy. Um, I had to drag it into the garage by myself uh, the other day when they got delivered and they're pretty heavy. Uh, so I haven't done, I haven't looked at them yet, but I, I hope they're gonna look beautiful. Um, they really did look good online, and so uh, they're, they're the 60 inch double vanity, you know. Um, I'm really excited about having those two sinks. It's going to make getting ready and just like, just function of living a lot better, quality of life, you know. But um, yeah, there's my new window that I put in, uh, you know, a little bit ago that you guys saw me actually put this one in, I think, uh, on online on YouTube, on my channel. Um, and this is where gonna, there, the, the toilet is going to go. Um, I've got the plumbing in already and, you know, the drain and stuff. And where the toilet commode is going to sit. Uh, the, toilet, the, the main part of the toilet is going to be seated. Um, figured that out the other day. There was a joist uh, that was actually running right through here that we had to uh, alter. And, um, sorry, my cat was in here. She's not allowed to be. <laughs> um, we had to alter this joist and uh, box it out 
And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, it's hooked, it, they go this way along the house. And um, so I had to cut back the joist at both ends, right here and right here. And uh, what I did is I put a header piece in on both sides. And um, I, you know, put some screws in it. And that's going to be enough to support the weight and everything that's uh, now tied into the joists on either side of it. Uh, so that's going to be supporting this section of floor, which is not a huge load, um, but you can do this in a variety of settings. And uh, that's how you work around where you need to get to if your joists are in the way of whatever you're trying to do plumbing wise or anything like that and that's a really cool trick that my dad just taught me so I mean it's just it's literally just like uh, you know doing carpentry and everything um, to solve your problems there and um, I will be putting purple board over all of this junk because I'm just not gonna use this. I mean, it's too chopped up. It's too old. It's got a lot of fucking work to do if I actually try to do this with the existing. And also, anyways, the direct overhead is actually set out below the sheetrock, so uh, when the new purple board is on top of it, the shower head, the uh, uh, nozzle is going to be right flush with that purple board, so attention to detail, plan that out. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is, this is getting more to be a finished product every day, and I'm really looking forward to having this heated floor that I've been waiting so long to try out. Uh, it's going to be a real treat. And it's going to be really fun to just see everything coming together. And um, where I started out with is uh, in the hall bath. And um, I just wanted to show you the hall bath. Um, it's nothing special. It's really needing a lot of work right now. I don't even have the trim around the window or anything like that right now. Which I don't inside in most of the house right now anyways but um that's because i'm lazy and i just haven't had time to do those little final details for the windows but everything else is trimmed out outside so no water no water getting in um i did use some time yesterday to do this uh light that has a fan in it which runs to the outside if you can tell this I mean, it's got mold in here, like, pretty bad. Um, not the worst I've ever seen, obviously, because I'm still living here. Um, but, you know, I definitely needed to take care of this. And uh, looks like there's, like, a leak or something at some point right there in the ceiling. And, uh, ooh, we got black mold right here. And that was what I noticed the other day, and I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of that. <laughs> I don't need mold growing in my new house that I'm doing so much work on and uh, I'm just not gonna put up with that anymore. So I'm not obviously moving on to this bathroom right yet because I've got so much else to do in the other bathroom right now and uh, a lot more to do in other parts of the house and stuff. So. This, this fan was to tie me over to, to make it fine to have this uh, bathroom in operation still um, for the meantime, and it's like a massive fan. I couldn't install this fan from this side. I had to go up and I had to take it apart and uh, like put it up into the attic space after I had my hole cut out and everything, and then... Uh, put it back together and stuff. It was just, it's a ridiculous setup. I hate those things. And I got two of them. Uh, I got one for the master as well. But um, I will say that I like the way it functions. The brightness of it, I, I like. Um, and it's really quiet. 
if you can hear. I mean, that's that's super quiet. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, not bad at all. Um, and I, I was taking a shower last night, and uh, the the mirror didn't even fog up, like hardly at all. It just had like the perimeter, like barely starting to fog up. But other than that, I mean, like rock solid. So I'm really happy about that. I can't wait to start to tear into this room. Other than that, I, I have done, you know, just some uh, of the shelving in the closet. I repainted it and everything. It looks nice and white and uh, fresh. So, but we're gonna we're gonna do something really cool with this hall bath. Um, not as extravagant as the master. But, uh, you know, something to make it look nice. And there's my new wood, too. All the closets have new wood. Um, that was from during when me and Kayla were on our honeymoon before we had to run back to the U.S. because of the stupid pandemic that's going on right now. So. But, yeah, uh, other than that, I mean, just been doing yard work, trying to keep up with it since the summer. It's doesn't really feel like summer right now, but um, I don't know. Maybe it'll get hot. Uh, I'm banking on it getting hot, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, cabinet. I just got this cabinet at Target uh, the other week. I haven't opened it yet, but it's uh, to go in this corner right here and to hold all of our uh, internet equipment. And it just, you know tidy up the area over here. It fits perfectly in between uh, to cover this plug setup and this plate setup, the cable plate. So that's good. Um, just little details like that. And you know what? I'm about to go relax. So I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I hope that life isn't stressing you out too much. I hope that your jobs are going well. I hope that your family is safe and I hope that you're being safe. I know that a lot of people in a lot of things in the world are just not right right now. And, um, you know, me and Kayla are trying to work through it just like the rest of you. And, um, you know, it's hard to, uh, find purpose, I guess, sometimes, because the world is so wrong, but, you know, I just have to keep my spirits lifted and, uh, you know, trust that the process will work out, and, um, you know, I really do hope that uh, everyone is taking this period of time to, you know, reflect on themselves, to make themselves better as human beings, and also just, uh, just be safe, you know, like, there's so much stuff going on and uh, it just takes a, a flick of a wrist and um, you know, a snap of a finger and it's, it's over. So uh, I hope that y'all are taking everything uh, and doing with it every day you know your best and uh, being the best you, you can be. I will try to make a new video here soon. I'm um, gonna get some more work done on the bathroom here tomorrow, next day, the day after, probably for the next whatever. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do, so I'll be I'll be working constantly. Um, but yeah, uh, just taking a second to to share that with y'all. I mean, uh, I love y'all. Uh, I hope that you're you know making smart decisions and uh, good choices for your lives and, you know, maybe just help out somebody uh, every now and then. Um, I know that a lot of us don't have a lot of time to do that kind of stuff, but I mean, the, it's the little things. I keep saying it, it's the little things. So, just make someone happy, make someone's day. Alright? Love y'all. Take care. I'll get back to you soon. If you're like, if you're new on this video, by the way, uh, just drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to, uh, if you like the video. And um, I know, like, 
a lot of stuff right now is preventing me from doing other videos just because like I've got this going on but uh, I do have like hiking stuff that I do and camping stuff too and um, just fun stuff so be on the lookout for some of that sometime I know I'll get to it eventually but uh, yeah till then peace